cool. Well, there's the new camera, everybody. Thanks to Anne Marie, who I am now am giving associate producer credit to. It is, yes, a little Kodak Easy Share. I'm happy with it so far. I think um, I need to I need to see how this video turns out. Well, this is that one after Jennifer Diane's wonderful, amazing guest spot. So we by now I should have figured out some of the audio tweaks with it but at any rate um the only other time i got i drank to get drunk unfortunately was when i went for my very first contest miss amateur ggs and my dear friend who recently passed away ramona those of you who follow my blog and are on facebook saw my post about ramona uh ramona was a very good friend of mine back in the 90s and uh, we were thick as thieves. We were instant and fast friends. Uh, I used to work for Ramona <clears throat> at Sears inside the gift uh, centers there. And I just, you know, I could rely on Ramona for a lot of life event type things. So it was only because Diva Kingsley was a former Miss Gigi's at the time, she could not technically help me with Miss uh, Amateur Gigi's. Uh, at the time with the rules and regulations they had. And I believe she actually was one of the judges on some stuff um, for that particular pageant weekend. Not the contest I was in, but there was, you know, probably Miss Gigi. Something else was probably going on. I don't remember. But anyway, she was exempt from being able to help me. So it was like, okay, fine. So Ramona agreed to be my backstage bitch, and she was fabulous at it. And... Um, and even more so because I took it upon myself to become overly depressed about my dad and about this other guy I was trying to see. You know, this was not somebody I was in a relationship with. And it wasn't working out as usual. <sighs> Still happens that way for me. It wasn't quite going the way I wanted it to. And, you know, I was wishing my dad would have been there. It was fairly fresh that he had passed. And it was just still, you know... But then my mom was there. She was very supportive. So she was ended up going to end up being disappointed in my drinking that night. But I did. I, I just got this big, again, a big plastic thing. This time I didn't mix the liquors. I just was straight up rum. And I was fine until I got to the bar and I had to move around and do stuff. All that jingling and jangling and moving me around and... The room was spinning and spinning and spinning, and I thought I was going to fall over. And I was trying to balance myself, and there's poor Versailles helping somebody with their gown down there on the floor. And I just, it was <laughs> like a feeding ritual from the Discovery Channel, okay? That's like the comical way to put it, to just give you a mental picture. And I just was like, bleh, bleh, bleh. and she was like, oh my God, rum! And, I, and then I'm like trying to not laugh and she was such a good sport about it God and again Diva ended up hearing about that and so she was I'm so disappointed in you I was like well but you know Ramona handled me you know she probably shook me a few times and maybe slapped me around a little bit and just was like you know what you're, you're gonna do this tonight you're gonna still do this you're gonna face some music you're gonna do your pageant and you're gonna see how you do well I did horrible I did absolutely horrible the talent number was fierce that ain't gonna lie. You can't go wrong with Christine W. So the talent number was good, but aside from that, I really did time kind of bottom out. Of course, you know, Gigi's, thank you. I love you guys. You guys do some of the best stuff, but putting on the Ritz for evening gown music, I don't think so. So anyway, even though it was my first pageant, you know, you're supposed to work with whatever they give you, but that, yeah, it, yeah, it just set the girl, set the drunk girl up to fail even more miserably. So. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you. That they, you, Well, you know, I figured it was fitting since I was back here with all this liquor. There would have been a day, honey. I would have been like, can I take this home with me? But I know. I don't know. I don't. I have what I need at home. Blackberry Merlot, honey. So, that's all I want. But uh, when I'm at home. <clears throat> so, I've learned a lot about liquor. And I've learned to be around it and it not be so, you know, tempting. So, uh again live from the liquor cellar here at the stable i hope we have a great show tonight everybody happy new year again hopefully i will calm my uh cynical ass down and and maybe not take things so seriously 
but you know when serious stuff is happening to you 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 act accordingly so good night to y'all see you next time like trophies. <laughs>